Hey, Fire Signs, this is your November 2018 Drunk Tarot reading. Uh, I wasn't going to give November readings, but decided to just lump uh, the elements uh, for November and do Fire, Aries, and a uh, Fire, Aries. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius uh, elements in one. The other thing I'm going to do in this reading is I'm going to keep everything upright. No reversals in this particular reading. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, drunk.tarot. And also for your December 2018 reading, that's the one that's going to be more specific to every single sign. Plus, I'm going to give your 2019 overview in that reading for each sign. So that's it. Let's just pull some cards and see what the energy looks like for fire signs. Um, yeah, for November 2018. I already shuffled, shuffled, shuffled. I'm going to do a quick one right here for your eyeballs. So you guys know I'm not a faker. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, November 2018, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, November 2018. It's coming through for you guys. All right, so in November, a lot of you guys are taking uh, a little break from your busy, hectic schedule, and I know you guys have busy, hectic schedules. Um, there's there's going to be you guys taking a little bit of a time out um, just to do some heavy thinking about you. You, you, you. Your focus is internal. You're focusing on what your next move is to become a better version of you for the new year possibly you're already starting to think about your resolutions now um so it's a quiet time it's a quiet period for you guys in november okay fire signs there it's what's funny is it is a quiet period for you fire signs but you still have to go and by have to i mean you you, you put it on yourself to be busy, to go, to be involved, to do social functions, to gather, to network, to do the things you have to do. That requires you to be um, in sort of party mode. Um, so it's easier for some of you guys. And even the ones who aren't into party mode because you're on hyper-focus mode, you still like to socialize. You still like to be sort of recognized and um, um, complimented on XYZ and sort of adored. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is your season to enjoy that because you literally just show up with this combo here. You just show up to these events and it's all, it's like a ready-made, like turnkey social function for you to just enjoy and leave. You show your face and leave. You know what I mean? And that's kind of it, what I'm feeling with these two cards right here. There is a lot of, obviously, it's November. It's the holiday season we're, get, we're getting into. So there's a lot of uh, socializing, gathering, uh, reunions with friends, old and new. A lot of busy activity around you. A lot of talking, 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 talking in your environment surrounding you. And maybe that's why you, you, you turn into the hermit at the beginning of November because you do need to find that quiet time for yourself. I think you're hoping that, well, this is a hope or a fear. The fear here is looking like you don't want to become complacent. You don't want to be satisfied with one thing. You don't want that right now. What you want is to experience um, everything, but you're too busy to. And so you're feeling like you have to turn things down. You have to reject certain things. Um, you're, 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 hope, you're hoping you can do it all, but you know deep down inside you have to reject certain invitations in the month of uh, November 2018 fire signs. Um, for some of you guys, if you did reunite with someone that you once dated or once knew or you were hoping to rekindle a relationship, either you or the other person just isn't into it is what it's looking like for some of you guys. You and someone else, you, you were hoping to get um, reunited in some sort of way. And it's not working out. It didn't, like, someone is just not into it. For some of you guys. Wow, uh, water signs had this too. So if you're dealing with a water sign, this could be something that's reflected. There is an element in November where you are deciding, you, you're, um, you're analyzing what you are investing in and what you're not investing in. You're, you're double-checking your stocks, your investments, Whatever it is you're, you're putting your time, energy, effort, money, uh, emotions into, you want to make sure that you get a return on that. And so you're reevaluating things. You're taking your time to look at things. And maybe one of the things that you invest in, what, it might be an emotional thing, and you're possibly feeling like that's not worth my time any longer. 
I don't want to put any more energy or effort or investment into that any longer. Some of you guys are waiting patiently. Some of you guys have just recently decided to invest into something. Property, work, tasks, tasks, projects, creative relationships, a health routine, diet, whatever it is. You're like, okay, I want to be patient. I want to wait and see what happens. And that's exactly what you're doing in the month of November where you're kind of like, I'm going to take a break from the busyness, the chatter, and I'm just going to sit back and be calm and hope that, you know, this sprouts, this becomes fruitful. You know, the energy here for November for a lot of you fire signs is just looking very uh, practical. You're making practical moves right now. And I think there's, I don't see a lot of, even with the, the three of cups here, even though there's like emotional uh, energy happening, you're even looking at that like, I don't know if I want to invest in that anymore. I don't know if I have time, if I have time for that. I want to have time for that. I miss that. I love that. I want that. But I don't know if I'm there anymore. I think I want to focus on what I need to focus on. Hyper focus still in November. Some of you guys are single and, and happy. Some of you guys are working for yourselves and happy. Some of you guys are seeing the fruits of your labor come through and you're happy. You're satisfied. You are independent and in charge of what is you've manifested. There's no magician card here because you've manifested the successes you're experiencing right now. And you're happy with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very successful, very good. I just think you have a general disinterest in any emotional, social relationships right now. For some of you guys. You're making calculated, slow, cautious moves. Some of you guys, <coughs> excuse me, some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, and you're waiting for that person to come through for you. But mostly this is your spread, your read, fire sign. And I think that you have a goal. You There's something that you want at a distance and you're taking your time and getting it. You're, you're gathering facts, figures, numbers, um, uh, personal accounts you're having lots of conversations with people about it and you guys have something in mind at the distance and you are on your way to get it you are going to take your time to get it you're not rushing into it you are like I'm gonna be calculated and careful and you're feeling very you're feeling very confident about it you're I don't think this is a need. This is a want, and it's it's a very good, healthy want. That could obviously lots of pentacles here, obviously. So it could the the return is there. You're gonna get money back. You're gonna make money. You're gonna be successful. You're going to find stability there, and it's gonna be good and strong and healthy. And I I just think that it's a matter of you turning down social invites, social relationships, cultivating personal, interpersonal communications with people. You're out to get yours and there's nothing wrong with that. It's all very good and healthy. And that's just where your headspace is right now, fire signs. At the end of November, at the end of November, I think you come into a place where you know that you are abundant in many ways. And so you are going to find that balance. Okay. You're going to say, okay, I'm teetering too far into one direction. I need to bring it back so that the, the seesaw is even again. Does that make sense? Because you were kind of like in November fire signs, you're, you're leaning forward into one direction, focusing on getting that money, getting that, you know, whatever you're getting, you get, getting that job, getting that relationship, getting that, whatever that is material or tangible, um, evidence of your success on a variety of levels, you recognize at the end of November, okay, now it's time to just sit down with family. Now it's time to just like not focus on that for like a day and just focus on picking out and sitting on the couch and enjoying my time with my loved ones. And so you find that balance at the end of November, which makes sense because it's, you know, um, Thanksgiving, right? But I see you really focused, fire sign, on your job, on your promotions, on your skill set, on your levels, on, on, the, on material security, and turning down superficial chatterboxes. Turning down superficial chatterboxes. 
Now, if I'm looking at this from a love perspective, like a love relationship perspective, like I said earlier, some of you guys might have been hoping for some sort of reunion with someone and that person wasn't into it or you weren't into it anymore. Um, and I think that it has a lot to do with just the practical things, like the distance between you guys, um, geographically, um, the money it would cost to maintain a long distance relationship, um, the loss, the potential loss of your own personal freedom or your state of mind. Um, because you're so independent now and so like what you would have to give up to have that type of relationship with someone and also just the balance again I'm reading these in all upright but I also feel like you know with the six of Pentacles it could have easily been a reversal card and because of uh, that's the feeling I get I'm not saying I'm not you know you can say that with any of the cards but that's a feeling I get with the spread and so I feel like because of the, the boredom card here the rejection card, boredom card. Um, and so because of that, I feel like there is a bit of imbalance or mental imbalance in a certain relationship or some fire signs right now and whoever they're dealing with. And that's it. Let's get your advice. November, fire signs, November 2018. Advice, don't forget to come back for your personal or your Sign specific um, December 2018 reads that comes with your 2019 overview. Um, but this is just your general for 2018 for all elements. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, drunk.tarot. Um, and so, yeah, your advice what you can do to have a successful November fire sign. Yeah, this goes right along with the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups. The Eight of Cups is saying, it is time for you to pull up stakes on an emotional attachment, on any kind of emotional investment that was not giving you um, positive results. Um, don't waste your time on any emotional entanglement that's not going to, you know, send you on your way to your physical, tangible, earthly, monetary um, successes that you are going for right now, which you are. That's where your head is right now. And so in November, anything that like emotional entanglements or emotional drama or anything like that that holds you back from getting this, you don't have time for it. So do away with it. You walk away from it, leave it alone because it's all it's going to do is slow you down, you guys. All right. So that's it for November 2018. Fire signs, come back for your other readings, um, for your December readings and follow me on Drunk Tarot. See you guys later. Bye.